General Edward Kaleke Zikaihura, a lawyer, military officer and policeman, has started his journey to retirement, having been in active service in the forces since 1982. The 67-year-old UPDF general, who served as the Inspector General of Uganda Police Force between 2005 and 2020, is among the 10 Army Generals of the 110 retiring officers to be discharged by August 31st, 2023. The UPDF conditions and terms of service provide that it is illegal to keep army officers in active service once they clock a certain age but are not promoted to the next rank. Since joining NRA rebel outfit in 1986, Geno Kaihura rose through military ranks and held multiple offices in the army and public service, most notable as an AD do camp to the commander of the Mobile Brigade. From 1982 to 1986, staff officer in the office of the Assistant Minister of Defense. From 1986 to 1988, Chief Political Commissar and simultaneous Director of Political Education in the then National Resistance Army. Around 1998, he was an operational commander of the UPDA forces in Uturi Province, Democratic Republic of Congo, before heading the anti-smuggling unit, the Special Revenue Police Services. As IGP from 2005, he stepped up the war on terrorism, emphasizing on training for officers, women emancipation in the force, and pushing for massive budget from 75 billion shillings in 2003 to 2004 to nearly 500 billion shillings that helped the force to increase its fleet and human resource and increase visibility upcountry. During his reign, police force constructed Porsche headquarters in Naguru and mobilized to start a saving scheme, Exodus Sako, formed in 2007, among others. However, years later, the police was at the center of constant criticism from opposition politicians and civil society campaigners who were against the implementation of the controversial Public Order Management Act. During the 2016 general election campaigns, General Kaihura was on spot accused of involving stick welding goons such as Chiboko Squad and Chifesi to assist the police in hounding the opposition. Jeno Kale Kaihura, however, expressed happiness to the fact that he is set to retire, but also applauded President Museveni for retiring him in honor and while still alive. He said his focus will now be on farming, but asked colleagues who are yet to be retired to remain submissive to their commanders and commander-in-chief.